Yo, what's up, guys? I'm making a video in today, man. Come back with some more NBA breaking news of today. I've been talking about the Nets Bucks game four today, where the Bucks end up winning today by 11 points, beating the Nets today, 107 to 96 points, and tied the series up today 2 2 after being down 0 2, heading back to Milwaukee, and on the verge of being eliminated, end up winning the next two games in Milwaukee. And are now headed back to Brooklyn for game five. And man, this was a tough game with Harden out since game one. The Nets start off the series pretty good. They were up 2-0. Game three, they lost barely by three points. Game four today, they lose by 11 points. And right around halftime, around our second quarter, we see their star player, Kyrie Irving, get injured with a lower leg injury. There was a video of him getting injured. Very physical game as Irving throws it in, goes down hard on his on his right shoulder. Super super sad seeing Kyrie go down, seeing the team that really has Harden go down. You have to rely on Kevin Durant, who just came off with Tori Achilles the year prior. Is super super disheartening and super super sad. Without a doubt, that's sure their best. They just lost today to the team that was actually like better man during a certain time. The Bucks went on, I believe, a 24 to 2 run in less than four and a half minutes. Insane. They just had the momentum, kept that going, and played a tremendous game today and deserve to win this game today. Which they did so. Out to for the Nets today, Blake Griffin scored eight points, three assists, five rebounds. Kevin Durant honestly had an off game today, was kind of getting clamped by PJ Tucker and was baiting so many fouls, okay? KD would just sit and cry and not get foul calls in this big fouls game. And I'm a big KD fan, okay? KD is literally my favorite player in the NBA to watch, but he was baiting fouls in a turbo game, okay? He was getting clamped up by PJ Tucker, old man Tucker, uncle Tucker. Like, I was super tough to watch as a KD fan, but what can I say, man? He just had an off game today. He had 28 points. Five assists, 13 rebounds. Joe Harris off once again today. Had eight points, one assist, four rebounds. Bruce Brown, seven points, two assists, one rebound. Kyrie Irving missed pretty much halfway through the second quarter on the rest of the game. Had 11 points, two assists, five rebounds in 17 minutes. Jeff Green, who Jeff getting his first play since a couple games. Today, he had eight points, one assist, five rebounds. Outside of that, the bench didn't do too much at all. It was just starting five doing his thing and Jeff Green and Mike James and Claxton really. Outside of that though, not much is given to the Nets, which is why they lost today's game because without having your two superstar players in Kyrie Irving and James Harden and having to rely on Kevin Durant and the rest of your team, which obviously isn't the best as your big three, it is super, super tough. Now, outside of that, shout out to the Bucks. They went off today. They had Giannis today with 34, 3 and 12. Middleton with 19. 8 and 4. Rick Lopez said he was 6 points, 11 rebounds, 1 assist. The quality was kind of off today, too. He had 14 points, 9 assists, 3 rebounds. PJ Tucker fighting by his role as a 3 and D player sitting in the corner all day on offense like he usually does. He had 13 points, 7 rebounds, 1 assist, had a couple of clutch threes. The great first half wise, and did his thing on KD defensive wise, honestly clamping him down. Pat Connison had to leave the game with a little bit for stitches, came back, hit a Three, I believe after that the game though he had eight points three assists two rebounds Bryn Forbes 10 points today one rebound one assist and outside of that nobody else really scored for the Bucks yeah Giannis stepped up Middleton stepped up Holland did his thing playmaking wise hit a couple shots as well Pat Connaughton hit his threes Peter Tucker played good defense on KD hit his threes played, good, played a great game today playing by his role and definitely doing well today's game uh, but it's tough for the Nets because they have Harden and Kyrie Irving out, but they still have Kevin Durant. So a pretty good venture on them as well. But the Nets really could have swept the Bucks and then might lose the series now. Now, if Harden comes back in the next game, the Bucks are done for, okay? If Harden and Kyrie are back next game, for sure the series is over with, okay? My prediction for the series was Nets in six, and so far, I'm um, right, okay? the next one in the next two games but if Kyrie and Harden are out this can maybe even be a seven game series with the Bucks and opening the series 
I'm setting the title favorites in the Brooklyn Nets and heading out to the Eastern Conference Finals, probably against the Philadelphia 76ers. But in my opinion, I feel like for the West, it's going to be down to probably the Jazz or the Clippers against the Suns, in which I have the Suns winning, okay? Just imagine if Chris Paul wins a ring, man. If Chris Paul wins a ring, as a big Chris Paul fan, I will be super excited and I would be super, super ecstatic, man. But that is besides the point, okay? Nets played a pretty good game today before Kyrie's injury. Let the Bucks go on the run and the Bucks did not look back at all. Giannis went off. Wilson did his thing. Holiday was playmaking pretty well today. And they ultimately won today's game. But other than that, y'all, that is going to be sure to go down below, drop a like, comment down below, so make sure to follow me on Twitch, Twitter, and TikTok. It's your boy John. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy the video. And I'm out, man. Peace.